Yeah, dig it. Well, Wes, welcome to my wrestling podcast, Mike's Wrestling Podcast. Today I'll be talking about the results of Monday Night Raw and the results of Thursday, of <laughs> Tuesday SmackDown. And uh, sadly, Mean Gene Oakland, um died, passed away. So I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell you about that at the end. But let's get to some rumors really quick. So there's, there's some rumors saying that one of the wrestlers are going to defect to um, AEW, which is like um, the elite of wrestling. It says that Jericho and Jim Ross go, but Jim Ross is still under contract. Another rumor they think um, it could be the Good Brothers, which is um, Gallus and Anderson, possibly Zack Ryder. <laughs> Zack Ryder are pushing him like a jobber. Um, they say AJ Styles might head there. I even heard on the comments they're saying maybe they might even try to get CM Punk. That would be pretty interesting, get CM Punk on the AEW. Like the, the lead of wrestling. Because um, Cody Rhodes is with, he signed with, with it's like a hundred, this guy's like a billionaire. I can't pronounce his, pronounce his name. But um, it's Cody Rhodes. Um, it's everyone in the Bullet Club, pretty much. The Young Bucks, Adam, Hangman, Adam Page. They're all with it. And I think Kenny Omega might possibly down the line go to um, AEW. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see a contract because, heck, that comes on and put do wrestling news on that as well because I like doing wrestling podcast news for you guys. But, um, yeah, we're going to get to Raw next. And then after that, SmackDown. And then I'll talk to you guys about me, Gene. But that, those are the rumors I can help. Let's get to Raw. I was going wrestling fans. Welcome to Deadly Outlaws. Or Mike's Wrestling Podcast. Episode 3, brother. If it's your first time, consider subscribing, brother, to this channel. Because it has great wrestling content every Friday, brother. And click the notification, brother, because you'll see Wrestling Podcast every Friday. Alright, on to you, Mike. Well, thank you, Hulk Hogan. Alright, so um, we're going to go over the raw results for um, the 31st of December. So a week ago, Vince McMahon was saying there's going to be a, a women's tag team championship tournament. There'll be new women's tag team champions. That's pretty cool. Anyways, let's go over the show. To the results, we have Dolph Ziggler versus Drew McIntyre. It was in a steel cage match. I watched it. It was pretty interesting. It was about a 20-minute match. McIntyre him with like two claymores and pinned him one, two, three. Then Ziggler yells, is that all you got? And he hit him with another claymore for the match. Come on, Ziggler. Leave him alone. And then we come, um, Finn Balor wish for, he wants to become Universal Champion. That's what he said on the, um, winning the Royal Rumble that he predicts. That he thinks he will because he's going to be in the Royal Rumble. And Ramon says she's going to win the Royal Rumble and go on to WrestleMania. And this session said they wish to be on the Fashion Files again. They're like, no, we need to go for the Tag Team Championship. And then Lucha House Party. They want to win the um, tag team championship. Then Seth Rollins made it to the ring. He says, New Year's should face Dean Ambrose. Triple H says, Oh, no, 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 no. We need the Seth Rollins. They'll do anything. So Seth Rollins um, is not going to get his rematch against Dean Ambrose. He says, I want to go burn it down against Brock Lesnar. Triple H says, That's what I want. That's a ruthless bastard one. Shane McMahon makes it a battle royale. The battle royale for the Intercontinental Championship shot. Apollo Crews won in 12 minutes <laughs> during our Intercontinental Championship shot. And W's really pushing Crews again. That's really good. Then there was a match between Natalia. Says she's going to win the Royal Rumble. She said she had a bad 2018, you know, because her father passed away and stuff. But she's going to win the Royal Rumble and face Ronda at WrestleMania. <laughs> and she gets attacked backstage by Nia Jax and Tamina. Corbin comes to the ring. And gets beaten up by Elias. <laughs> Elias at a Corbin feud? Sounds like a good idea to me. Then we had Drake Maverick at the AOP. Hey, they're going to become the tag team championships. And the Rice says they're going to be the tag team champions. Zach Ryder with a woo woo. You know he wants to have all the collect all the WWE action figures. And then way Jose says he just wants to have people to hang out with, though, dance with him. <laughs> The Rice God versus Bailey and Sasha and Ember Moon. Information if you want for the show, just let me know. And they're showing the next week Braun Strowman will be on the show as well as um, Brock Lesnar. 
Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley with Leo Rush. Seth Rollins, he beat Lashley with a stomp. I don't know. This is disqualification. He got disqualified because he hit him with a steel chair. That's a crazy Seth Rollins coming out. <laughs> Ronda's back with Natalia. It's going to be a, a tag team match for the, for tonight on Raw. Then it's going to be for an Ambrose versus Cruz Aircon Championship match. Jinder Mahal team with the Singh Brothers versus Heath Slater and Rhino. That was a pretty good match. But Mahal won the Singh Brothers. Four minutes. I really didn't care that much about that match. Then the next, his next is Aircon Championship between Dean Ambrose and Am Apollo Crews. It was a pretty good match. Apollo Crews hit him at the end with his finishing move, but Ambrose put his his finger on the rope. Then he went with the Dirty D's, pinned him one, two, three. Ambrose retains the title. Alexa Bliss says next week she's going to have a show called Moment of Bliss. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Hopefully they consider turning her baby face because she's been doing a really good job as a heel. And her guest on the show will be Ronda Rousey. And the main event, Tamina and Nia Jax versus Natalia and Ronda Rousey. They just beat the hell out of Natalia and Ronda in the match. She hit, um, Nia Jax hit her, um, Samoan drop and her leg drop. And Rousey kicked out. And Rousey at the end hit um, Tamina with the um, with the arm bar and she tapped out. Good show. All right, let's move on to SmackDown. Okay, so let's go over the results for SmackDown. So SmackDown started off with a new day. They're saying that their resolution is they can't give people, they want to eat healthy and not give out pancakes. The crowd kind of like, what, for a second? But they're just joking around. It's like, oh, no one follows their resolutions. But I think they want to be telling, they're going to be, one of them are going to be in the Royal Rumble, so I hope they can win Royal Rumble. And then we have, um, yeah, they worked a plug on Cena's Bumblebee movie, which was pretty cool. And then they announced, began to announce Jeff Hardy versus Samoa Joe. A spot in a five-way. Should have been one of the New Day members. That probably would have been better. But I don't know. Maybe they'll turn him heel this year, or maybe not. I don't know. Or just see faces. Who knows? Jeff Hardy versus Samoa Joe. Well, Samoa Joe ended up making Jeff Hardy tap out of the Kikita Clutch. So I'll make it fast on that one. I tried to hit it one time, missed it. Kokita Clutch, one, two, no, he taps out. No, he's out. So it'll be a, a fatal five way between Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio, Mustafa Ali, and Randy Orton. And there's Daniel Bryan looking like, who's going to face me for the title? Vince McMahon and Shane were backstage. AJ Styles says he is not sorry what he did. He's not going to apologize. And Vince is like, I was like, you want to see the, t no, AJ saying, you want to see the true AJ Styles? Shane's like, I don't know. You might have just woke up. A monster. <laughs> or no, Shane told him, be careful what he wish, what, what you wish for. It was like, oh, I'm fine. And they have Rusev coming out with the Intercontinental Champion. No, with the United States Championship. Lon's with them. Interviewed by Dasha Fuentes. Rusev says, Rusev, day of all, is Rusev is USA. Like everyone started chanting Rusev Day, USA chant. Then Nakamura came out, kicked Rusev. Lana jumped on the back of Nakamura. Rusev kicked Nakamura, who then landed on Lana, fell backwards. Ten Rusev went to Lana. Nakamura hit him with the Kinshasa right in the face. Oh, he's going to have another feud, I guess. Then there's another match between Naomi versus Sonya Deville. Mandy just doing. Mandy Rose just trying to do more silly things, like last week when she said. Oh, we're in the mistletoe. Time to kiss you, Jimmy Uso. But she got all mad. She pushed him. Because Naomi is basically Jimmy Uso's wife in real life. So she pushed him and <laughs> they had a match. And then Mandy was like, oh, I'm going to be... She's wearing a day down since day one-ish um, t-shirt. And um, basically... Um, <laughs> Rose took him and said, oh, I'm going to send him another picture. But she like has a towel on her and then... Wearing a towel. And DeVille hit her with some crazy DDT finishing move that I thought looked pretty cool. Then Randy Orton's back delivering promo. He's going to win the five-way, and he's going to face Daniel Bryan. And Raven Steele says he's going to win it. And Mustafa Ali said he's pinned Daniel Bryan. Once he's going to do it again, become champion. 
John Cena comes out. <laughs> the Iconics. Okay, this the broadcast team is trying to hype John Cena's match next. You know, him coming out. The Iconics want to be the first ever W Women's Tag Team Champion champions. Lou Gals and Carl Anderson want to be. This is a, they want to eradicate SmackDown of all the nerds. Gentleman says resolutions are frauds. He pulled down the backdrop of the set, popped a balloon. Samoa Joe backstage a promo saying he's gonna win the um champ he's gonna win the fatal five way and face um Daniel Bryan for the title. John Cena and JBL's hair made their entrance. <laughs> Cena held out his usual towels and then flipped it over to a real be kind to one another image. That's kind of nice of him. So Cena comes back says he's been in China for six months, and basically um. <laughs> Becky Lynch comes out and says you want she says you want to be at the man she was like so after that um Selena Fega comes out and complain and then um says they want to face her her and um Andrane Andrane Cien almost they had a tag team match and at the end um Becky Lynch made um this is Selena Vega tap out and she threw John Cena over the over the ring and she was like, oh, I'm impressed with the man, Becky Lynch. So next, um, we have him um, backstage. The Miz entered and <laughs> showing that he wants um, Shane McMahon to like wear his like um, robe that the Miz wears and wears trunks like the Miz wears. Shane's like, he's not interested and just walks away. He's asking, did you put Goldberg's body was used as shirtless mock-up? So he's like, oh, no. He says, your body's better than Goldberg's. And they show the, all the of the new wrestlers like Laura Sullivan and all kinds of wrestlers coming into the WWE. Shara showed up saying she wants to face um, Asuka. Carmella showed up. She wants to face her, and so does Becky Lynch. And then Triple H says, I'll do this under advisement. Then the main event, Rey Mysterio versus Samoa versus Mustafa Ali versus AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. And who won the match? Of course, AJ Styles. Pinned him one, two, three with a phenomenal forearm. So that's SmackDown. I'm going to go over one more thing for Wrestling Rumors, and that will be it for a wrestling talk. A wrestling um, podcast. I'd like to say I'm sad and WWE saddened to hear the loss of Mean Gene Okerlund. He was an announcer in WWE and then WCW for like in the 1980s and 1990s. And he was also on a show called WWE Confidential. Man, I thought he was funny on that show. He was on another show if you guys have happen to have WWE Network, which is like $9.99 a month. $9.99 a month. Um, and also, he's also the host of Storytime. Man, that's going to be sucks that he died, man, because he was just awesome. Man, me and Gene Oakland, rest in peace, man. He was like one of Hogan's like... He had a tag team match with Hulk Hogan. And I remember Hogan threw him on top of um, Paul Orndorff and pinned him one, two, three. That was pretty awesome. Rest in peace, Mean Gene Okerlund. We will miss you.